Today we're going to take a look at two great features from VMware and EMC. First we'll take a look at VMware Storage I.O. Control, which is found in vSphere 4.1, and then we'll take a look at EMC's Fully Automated Storage Tiering, or FAST V2, and how they work together. Alright, so let's take a first look at VMware's Storage I.O. Control. So looking at my vSphere client, you can see I have three Oracle servers running. I have two production and one development. They're all residing on three common data stores, my NS40-130, which is for my OS disk, and then FastDS1 and FastDS2, which is for my Oracle database. I have two Oracle productions running in this environment, and they're getting right around 16,000 transactions per minute. And what we're going to take a look at now is actually a developer who doesn't know that you know, this system is running on the same box as my production servers. So they just started their Oracle workload. And you know, let's, let's see it ramp up a little bit. And we can instantly see that uh, you know, it's affecting the performance of our production workload. So if we take a look now at our second production box, we could also see that that box uh, is reducing the count of transactions per minute. So this isn't good because it's affecting our production boxes. So let's go over and edit the settings of that development box, click on the resources tab, and then go over to the disk settings portion. Here in 4.1, we can now limit our IOPS at a virtual machine level. So this is VMware's storage IO control. So let's limit our IOPS on this development box down to 30 IOPS per disk. Let's switch back over, We're looking at our production and development environments. Let's fast forward a little bit, and you can see within seconds, the amount of uh, transactions per minute has gone down significantly. So what did we see today? We saw that VMware Storage I.O. Control gives DIP priority to specific virtual machine disks residing on shared storage. Once again, I thank you for joining me today, and I invite you to visit the VMware community at emc.com slash vmwarecommunity.